Lighting in 3ds Max follows the same rules as lighting in real life. In this part, we will describe how you can set up the natural lighting in your scenes using V-Ray Sun and the V-Ray Dome Light. V-Ray Sun works together with V-Ray Sky and they simulate real-life conditions. This basically means that if we place V-Ray Sun high in our scene, we will get a strong cold lighting with sharp shadows, while if we set it low, the lighting will get warm with soft shadows. Open the file naturallighting.max and let's produce a render to see what we get. We basically get a black image and the scene gets only illuminated from our background images. Here, I have applied a very light material, which we will see in detail later on. But this material casts some light and that's why we are able to see part of our interior. If we didn't have the background, let me select these two planes and delete them, then our viewport would render black. And this happens because at this point there are no lighting sources in the scene. So, in order to produce a render, we need to have at least one light source in the scene. Let me undo a few steps to retrieve the background. So, to create a very sun, go to the command panel, click on the create tab and then choose lights. Click on the photometric drop-down list and select V-Ray. Then click on V-Ray Sun. Go to the top view, click and drag to place the sun and to where you will leave it, the sun target is placed. In the V-Ray Sun window, select Yes. This way, V-Ray automatically places an environment, V-Ray Sky. V-Ray Sky works together with V-Ray Sun and they simulate real-life lighting. So by changing the position of the sun, the sky also changes. Anything we create in 3ds Max is placed at height 0. So if we go to the front view and check where V-Ray Sun is, we will see that it is at the same level as the floor. So the next step is to elevate it. Enable the Select and Move command, go to the front view, select the sun and click on the Y-axis, the green arrow. Drag it higher at approximately 400 cm. When moving an object, we can check the coordinate display area in the status bar or type there directly the desired value. Since we now have a light source in the scene, we can produce a render. Now we can clearly see the interior. What you need to be careful of is that when we use planes, boxes, to apply our view, as I have done in this case, then those planes may block the sun from entering accurately. So what I always do is to select the sun, go to its properties in the Modify tab, go to the Options rollout, and click on the Exclude button. On the left list, you see all the layers, objects of the scene. Select the background and move it to the right list. Those are excluded from the sun, which means that the sun will act like they do not exist. Let's render one more time. Now, the sun enters the room without having any obstacles. As we mentioned at the beginning of this part, V-Ray simulates how sun works in real life, which means that the higher we place the sun, the stronger the light will be and more white, while the lower the sun, the softer the light and warmer. Let's apply all this in our exercise. Let's save this render in history. Make sure here uh, it says Effects Result and rename it to H400 cm. Enable the Select and Move command, select the V-Ray Sun, go to the Z field at the coordinates of the status bar and type 800 cm. Let's 
So what we see here is that apart from the shadows that change direction, the sun got stronger and wider. Moreover, the shadows got sharper. Let's save it in history to compare it. Let's now move the sun position at 180 cm high and produce a new render. The interior gets darker and the sunlight gets warmer and more subtle. As before, I will save it in history. Don't forget to use the Exposure layer to adjust your render. Click on the Add layer button and choose Exposure. I will start with the Highlight Burn setting and slide to the left. That's better. And I will also make Contrast 0.1. If you want to increase or decrease the intensity of the sunlight, go to the Sun Parameters rollout and play with the Intensity Multiplier. If we want the shadows to blend more and not be very defined, we can go to the Size Multiplier in the Sun Parameters rollout and increase the size value. The default is 1. Let's try 7 and re-render. Now you see how smooth they are and how well they blend, they are not sharp anymore. Let me also add the white balance layer. That's all on the V-Ray Sun and now let's explore the V-Ray Dome Light. We have seen how to light our scene using the V-Ray Sun and now let's see another technique using the V-Ray Dome Light. First, let's disable the V-Ray Sun. So select it, go to its properties and in the Sun Parameters rollout, uncheck the Enabled field. If we produce a render, we will see that our interior still gets some light. This happens because if you recall when we created the V-Ray Sun, we also created the V-Ray Sky. So let's cancel the render and go to the menu Rendering, Environment. In the Commons parameter rollout, you can see here the V-Ray Sky. Let's right-click on it and select Clear to delete it. Let's do one more render. Now, the scene is much darker and the only light is casted by our background images, which we will analyze on the Material section. For now, let's also select the background images and hide them. So, go to the top view, select the two planes, right-click and choose Hide Selection. Let's do one more render. And now everything is black since there is not a single one light source in our scene. So, one option is to light our scene with the V-Ray Sun. The other one is to use the V-Ray Dome Light. And to create one, go to the Command Panel, click on the Create tab, choose Lights, V-Ray, V-Ray Light. Go to the General Rollout and from the Type, click on Plane and choose Dome. Go to the Top View and click to place the Dome Light. It doesn't make a difference where you will place it. Whether it's here, here, or here, the result will be the same. Let's do a render. So now we can see our interior. To brighten it up, 
select the DOM light, go to its properties and increase the multiplier. Instead of 1, let's type 10 and render. So, what's mainly the difference between using a V-Ray Sun and a V-Ray Dome light to light up a scene? When we were using the V-Ray Sun, we had more defined shadows. We could select where the sun would be and where its target would be, and so the sunlight had a specific direction. Also, based on the V-Ray Sun's height, we could adjust the warmth of our scene. When we use a dome light, we basically set a diffuse light in the scene. The furniture casts shadows, but we don't have this directional light and shadows from the sun. If we don't want a pure white light and we want it to be warmer, we can come to the dome light settings and either click on the color field and set the desired color, or we can click on the color mode and choose temperature. Then, Go and set the temperature of the light, let's say 4500 Kelvin. If we now render, we will have a warmer diffuse light. Let me take this back to white. Now, when we use the very dome light, we can use it in combination with an HDRI. What is an HDRI image? An HDRI is a 360 photo that contains a large amount of data which can be used to emit light into a scene. You can find many HDRIs on the web. A website I could suggest to you that offers free HDRIs is hdriheaven.com. Let's visit it together now to download an HDRI to test it in our scene. Let's click on uh, this one and I will download the 4K resolution. Let's go back to our 3ds Max scene. To load an HDRI, go to your dome light parameters and to the general rollout and click on the no map button over here. Choose Maps, V-Ray, V-Ray Bitmap. Mm, one comment here, if you have previous versions of V-Ray, then you need to choose V-Ray HDRI. If you have V-Ray 5, then choose V-Ray Bitmap. Click OK and choose the HDRI we downloaded. Let's render. So now we have a view outside our window, the view that was shown in the HDRI preview, and we also have sunlight and shadows casted from the HDRI in our scene. How can we see the HDRI outside our windows? First, click on the default shading button next to the viewport's name, go to viewport background, and make sure environment background is enabled. Then, go to the menu Rendering, Environment, to the common parameters rollout and drag and drop the HDRI in the environment map. Choose Instance so that any changes we will do here will also apply here. How can we adjust what we see outside the windows and the direction of the sun and shadows? If I select the V-Ray Dome light, enable the Select and Rotate command and click on the grey circle and drag the cursor up or down, nothing really changes. And if I render, I get the same result, although I rotated my light by approximately 180 degrees. So, how can we adjust it? Let's take it back to its original state first. If we take a close look at the dome light, you see this line, this pointer over here. This one indicates the center of the HDRI image. So if I also open the HDRI preview, it's like the center of the photo is placed here. 
usually. At the center is where also the sunlight is placed and this way it helps us understand where the sun is positioned. To rotate the HDRI and show the position of the sun, we need to open the material editor. Drag in the Everyday HDRI and create an instance. Be careful, if you select copy, then any changes we will now make won't be transferred here and so the lighting of our scene won't be affected. So be careful to choose instance. Double click on the V-Ray bitmap to see its parameters. So if we want to rotate the HDRI, we will go to the horizontal rotation and play around with this value. You can see in real time how our background rotates. So if we make it 50 and render, you can now see how the shadows and lighting changed. Let's try 100 and do one more test. Now we get a different result. To understand where the sun is positioned, instead of the very physical camera, we can switch to a perspective view and see where our sun is placed. If we want the render to be brighter, go to the Processing section. If we increase the overall multiplier, both our background image and interior will get brighter. Let's try 5 and render. So, if this is an actual project and your client sends you a specific view to place outside the windows, you can still use the V-Ray Dome Light and the HDRI to light your scene, but then you need to make some planes to put outside the windows to apply your view as a material. The materials are described at a later section, so for now, let's right-click, choose Unhide, and select the two background planes that I have created. What you should never forget is that when you make planes to put your view on, to always select your light source, go to the Options rollout, and click on the Exclude button and select the two planes. This way, the two planes won't block the light from coming in. So now we are using the dome light, the HDRI and we have the view we want outside the windows. So these are the two options to naturally light your scene, either using V-Ray Sun or the V-Ray dome light with an HDRI. You can choose which option works best for you.